Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So today I am just going to discuss you the prerequisite for this course. So you should be having some application installed and some basic knowledge of Spring. So let me walk you through what the idea and what the databases and what other tools I am going to use for this uh, development. So these are the list of application that you should be having on your system so that we can uh, go for this course. So coming to the IDE, we are going to use either of them you can use. There are uh, these are the uh, well known IDE in the market and they are very much uh, good when coming to the development like this. So I am going to use the IntelliJ. Okay, so I am going to use the IntelliJ premium version. Uh, you can use the IntelliJ Premium version for uh, free for one month. So from there you can uh, download, like from the IntelliJ site you can download it and you can use the ultimate version for one month free. So I'm going to use the IntelliJ for this uh, lectures. Uh, you can use the Eclipse as well as you can use the STS. If you have any of them, then you can also use this. Coming to the database, uh, I am going to use these two databases. One is MySQL Workbench and another is PostgreSQL. So you can see on my system, I already have installed the MySQL. And for PostgreSQL, when you will install it, so some server page will open like PG Admin. There you need to log in and you can see this is the PostgreSQL. And uh, coming to the a client tool I'm going to use the postman as a client tool so you can see I have installed this so with the help of the postman we can send the query uh, send the request to the APIs and if you want to get the uh, to want to hit some APIs you can use the postman if you want to insert some details you can use the postman so postman is required for this course and uh, coming to the yeah knowledge you must be having the basic uh, knowledge of the Spring Boot, like how we can create a CRUD application. Okay, so those things are required. And uh, the new version of Java we are going to use. So we are going to use the Java 17. The latest is Java 19, but yeah, for when we are going to the development of the Spring Boot application, this is what the recommended one now. So these are the tools, application, and some basic knowledge that are the prerequisite for this course. So please be prepared for this and please install everything on your system and then we can inst uh, start this course. So thanks for the support and please hit the like button for this video.